Hello, race fans. Welcome to the grand finale of the D3 Esports Cup Championship. I'm your host, Carlos Figuerella, and today I'm joined by the president of Dawson Racing, Simon Dawson. Hey, Simon. How are you doing, Carlos? Good to be next to you again, mate. This is good. Nice to be uh, here for the grand final. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we've, we've had four weeks leading up to the grand finale, and we're excited about today's race. Um, this week, we're racing at Michelin Raceway Road, Atlanta. This is a classic track with a ton of history. Uh, excited to share our fans a video that highlights what our drivers will encounter in today's race. Um, really excited to, to share this with you. So uh, here's a quick video. Wow. After watching that, I'm excited to uh, see what our fans are going to watch today and uh, see some great racing. Got to love the tradition down in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, that's great that uh, Michelin Road Atlanta has, uh, has provided us that video. And, um, you know, it's really great to see it. It's, it's so, when we go there to race, you see sports car racing, but it does so much more. And it's such a piece of their economy and of their atmosphere and their their history. I think it's so cool to see that video. It, it gets you emotional watching it. It's pretty cool. Definitely. Um, so Simon, you know we've we've been doing this for the past four weeks. Coming up on the last one, um, give us an overview of the D three Esports Cup Championship and highlight what we have lined up for today. Absolutely. Yeah. So as as we've seen, the first four weeks are qualifying. You know, it's there's 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 ultimately that's what seeds them. That's what gets the grid uh, for the top eight. Uh, it also then enables us to have another, uh, you know, as we've done today, the guys have had the, in the bottom eight have had the chance to have one more last crack at trying to win the two wild card spots. Um, obviously, this is our first series with this Swiss format. I couldn't be happier how it worked out because you paired up with someone and you beat them, you get points. If you get a tie, you get points. If you're not there, you don't get points. So it's, it leaves it, you've got four weeks of just qualifying to get that pure grid. And I think that's what we've seen today. Obviously, the two wild cards that are coming up, the name of the game has been about staying between the lines, keeping respectful, keeping smooth. Um, you know, and I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what Ian, the race director, uh, has chosen um, and who's, who's won through. Um, and again, I think this is, I can't stress enough that this is all about the, the ones that can, can move forward have certainly moved forward. And uh, I look forward to 
to seeing this grand final, which is an all out race, right? This is a 115 lap race, um, start to finish and we see, see what happens. So uh, I see we've got a, a graphic come up here and it looks like those, the, so the two Viva guys uh, got in there um, by the looks of things. So Sydney Jim, um, team owner, uh, number one driver there. And then um, that's great to see Tim come up because as we all know, he's very familiar with, with professional racing. He races a massive offshore powerboat um trains olympic athletes so that's great to see him you know really come through this uh and, and show that the smoothness and but for me watching it i know you know in selection is i mean seeing this it's, it's great because i think all of these have a lot of respect for their surroundings um and i think this this should be a really nice race and I want to thank the everybody that's entered into this um because obviously some of them pre-qualified through um the pre-qualifying rounds which is what will open up uh, for season two where the globe can so uh, really, really good to, to see how this next 15 lap uh, race pans out, the grand final. Definitely. And next, let's dive into some of the rules of scoring. Give us an overview of the breakdown. Yeah, so so ultimately, I mean, a lot of these guys that are in here are familiar with real racing and familiar with this virtual racing. Um, I think we've seen with, with all of them, um, you know, a few of them have wandered off the track limits a few times. We've all chat with each of them independently. Um, but uh, I, I think, yeah, that's that's really the key there is to see to see some good good racing between the lines and uh, what the what the outcome will be. Definitely. And so, for our fans that are tuning in this week, previously we were racing, you know, three races, but it just comes down to one today. Really excited about that. And I think here we are about ready as well to see a, a lap of Road Atlanta. Um, so obviously, here's, here's, uh, here's one of the, uh, the cars about to start the lap at Road Atlanta. Um, really kind of complex track, but I, I know uh, we're going to leave it up to Ian here to give us, a, give us a good run of what the drivers and what the viewers can expect at this mega track. We are at the Michelin Road Atlanta racetrack for the D3 Esports Cup Grand Final. We're now coming down the main straight with the pits on the right hand side heading into turn one. This is a very quick corner, very fast exit, falls away a little bit from the uh, entry as you're coming up through the sweeps. This is a very, very precise set of S's which you're going right to left, just running the curbs all the way through. A lot of elevation on this track. It's uh, 2.5 miles, so it's very quick. Um, it's opened in 1970, so it's uh, been around for some time, a lot of history. As we come down here towards the turn six, which is a reasonably quick corner, which takes you into seven. Now seven is extremely important to get a very nice exit here. We've got a long straight here. It's the fastest part of the track. And uh, we're going down through turn eight. Uh, as we rise up here under the bridge, we're heading towards turn nine, which takes you to a part of the track, which is called the dip which is pretty explanatory as you climb over the top of the elevation and you fall down towards 10A. 10A here is a hairpin that was put in just to slow the cars down and you'll all see why as you exit here and 10B up under the bridge. We dive down now very close to the pit entry and we come through this sweeping turn 12 very quick onto the main straight again and that's one full lap of the Michelin. Wow. That's good. That's going to be exciting today, you know? Yeah, no, I'm super excited about it. I think this, this, this is a really great track. Uh, you can really get some good areas to overtake here. Um, there's some areas to be cautious with. Um, watching all the guys in practice there, I mean, I think they've all got this down. This should be some good racing. Um, so here's our then, standing yeah. so far going into our last race. Break this down for us. Yeah, no. So ultimately, as we were saying there before, uh, Ian, give us a whiz around the track. Is you've got this is the this is the top eight with the two wild cards coming in from the bottom eight. Um, obviously, all of this has come through the Swiss format, and I think for me, if you if you're real racing and you have w one qualifying session of twenty or twenty to forty five minutes, it's very difficult to get clean laps over four weeks. We've actually got what I think is a is a pretty solid uh, lineup there with Ben in the D three Transformer, uh, the red car. We've got Nelson. Uh, in a white D3 Transformer. Brandon, mate, love it. It's, uh, he's got in there with the Zotac car in third. 
Jack Lewis and then Scott Cowan in the two STEM cars. Uh, we got Don Magnuson there is featuring as Don Enti um, in the uh, white D3 Transformer. Pablo there in the red D3 Transformer and then Alessio, fantastic. Uh, guy wasn't even here for two, two rounds. So to get up into that, obviously had some good head-to-head -head successes there and he's got himself in there. Um, Sydney missed it and we're in there with, with Sid and Tim. So great stuff. Yeah, and we've actually got some really cool videos to share a little bit more about our drivers. Um, and we're really excited to share that. So we'll, we'll play that next. Wild Elephant is how I start my race. Love to see how our drivers get prepared and, and how serious they take this. Um, <laughs> give, give us a little bit of overview of who we're, we haven't shown and how they're preparing. Absolutely. I mean, it's great that these two guys um, sent in their videos and uh, we were able to capture it. I mean, as I've, we've said a few times, you know, it always makes me chuckle in my mind thinking what Don's doing and now we can see it. But that's great. Um, mega to see uh, Zach wedged in the corner there uh, having his beverage, uh, getting himself prepared. And I think, you know, at, like at all the drive. Yeah, we, we all know kind of what they're in but it's it, it's great to see these two guys in there and uh hopefully in the next rounds next series we can see more of the drivers environments definitely before we kick things off d3 esports would like to give a huge shout out and a big thank you to our presenting sponsor stem.org along with our other partners and sponsors all mentioned here on this on the screen So, so we're hearing the drivers are feeling up now, getting ready. And when we come back, we're going to go racing. So I'm pumped. Big time. I'm really excited to look for this. And I know uh, I'll be uh, sitting watching this a little bit. And uh, I think you've got your other sidekick coming back in, haven't you, Carlos? So uh, now he's done his uh, in the pits for a few weeks. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so we'll be right back. Stay tuned for more.
got the juice, yeah, I got the juice.